Maybe you haven't bought your candy yet, or maybe you're still deciding between the taco, the cheese balls, or the bacon costume, but in Milford, Delaware... So to me, it's got to happen. The mayor says trick-or-treating is happening Halloween night. It was literally an agenda item on the Monday night council meeting. The mayor's favorite candy... Three musketeers. But the former school teacher says his favorite part of Halloween is seeing the kids so happy. Hopefully the weather on Halloween will be better than today's in this town on the Kent and Sussex County line. And while there's no parade this year in Milford, the mayor says trick-or-treating can be done safely. He's counting on parents to keep an eye on their masked up kids. And if you as a homeowner think trick-or-treating is a bad idea, easy solution. My thing is, you don't want the kids to come to your house, turn the lights off. The fluorescent uh, bracelets, necklaces. Uh, glow sticks. Virginia gives out the good stuff on Halloween. No walnuts and pennies at her house. She knows some homes might leave candy down by the sidewalk or toss candy to the kids to avoid contact. But she says either way, she'll be excited to see the kids enjoying the night. They're out to have a good time. And you want them to have a good time. And, and they have been cooped up. The mayor agrees. He knows some constituents will disagree with him, but he believes trick or treat needs to be a go. He's pretty sure other towns will follow suit with his town's decision. The kids deserve it. They need it. In Milford, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.